Hey kids, and welcome to the Word Problem Racetrack. Today we will be answering word problems to pass checkpoints on the track. In order to pass certain checkpoints, we will need to correctly answer the problems by using different methods to solve word problems. Let's get racing, guys! Here is our first word problem, and it says there are two ducks, then six ducks join them. How many ducks are there in all? Hmm. Let's read that one more time, just to make sure that we understand what it is asking us. There are two ducks, then six ducks join them. How many ducks are there in all? <coughs> we can start by doing a circle drawing. Circle drawings are faster than trying to draw all the ducks. The word problem says there are two ducks. Let's start by drawing two circles for those ducks. One, two. Now we have two circles representing the two ducks. Then six more ducks join them. I am going to put a break apart line right here to separate the two ducks that were already there and the six ducks that joined them. I wonder how many we have in all. Before we find out, I think it would be fun to write an equation that also goes with our circle drawing and the word problem. We have two ducks that are already there, then six more ducks came which means we are going to add those ducks. We are going to join those two groups together, the ducks that were already there and the ducks that came later. When we add them together, we should get a total of how many ducks there are in all. If you remember, the word problem asked us how many ducks are there in all. It wants us to find out how many there are all together. With this information, can you tell me how many ducks there are in all? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two ducks plus six more ducks equals eight ducks in all. Great job, kids! Another cool thing that I can do is use a math mountain to show the problem. There are two ducks, then six more ducks came along and joined them. The two and six are the partners at the bottom. We have a box at the top which shows us we need to find the total. If we add these two together, we will get our total, which is 8. Great job! We just use a math mountain to solve the word problem. Let's go, kids! Here is another word problem, and it says, Sam made five gingerbread men. Allie made four gingerbread men. How many did they make all together? Remember, it is good to read it twice to make sure we understand the story and what they are asking for. Sam made five gingerbread men. Allie made four gingerbread men. How many did they make all together? All together means they want us to join those two numbers together to find out how many gingerbread men they had in all. Why don't you guys take a minute and see if you can't find out the answer by using a math mountain, an equation, or circle drawings. Try and find the answer. I am going to start with a math mountain because I like those. We know that Sam had five gingerbread men, and Allie had four, but we do not know how many they had all together. So the total up top is what we do not know, and this box shows we are trying to find the unknown number. We do know the two partners. What are they? Five and four. Sam had five, and Allie had four gingerbread men. If we add the two partners together, we will get the total at the top of our math mountain. With this information, we can now write the equation. We have five gingerbread men plus four gingerbread men equals the total. Great job! To find the answer, let's finish by doing a circle drawing. We know that Sam made five gingerbread men, so we have five circles here. Now I will put a break apart line before I start drawing the circles that Allie made. Allie made one, two, three, four gingerbread men. We now have a circle drawing, and the problem asks how many gingerbread men did they make all together. If we count all the circles, we get how many? We get nine. There are nine gingerbread men all together. Great job! We showed how to solve different word problems in different ways. You are amazing. Now let's finish this race.